Hello, Mr. Randy Duck, and welcome back for another video. Today, I have a special guest replay donated by our friend Silbs in the Tier 8 British Tech Tree Tank Destroyer, the Charioteer. Now, I have linked Silbs' channel to the uh, title of this video. It's definitely worthwhile giving him a check out. He's an up and coming YouTuber, just started making the channel for World of Tanks console, um, and it's always good to. You know, give a shout out to a fellow YouTuber. He does commentary on his videos and has some nice um, replays for you to watch. This particular replay here in the British Tank Destroyer, the Charioteer, is a fantastic game. And this Tank Destroyer is actually one of my favourite Tech Tree Tank Destroyers, especially at Tier 8. It is honestly a fantastic tank. It's got great mobility, decent concealment um, and a 10 degrees of gun depression with a fantastic gun. You've got on the standard rounds 268 penetration with 390 alpha and a really good reload. Then got fantastic shell velocity on the standard rounds of 1478. And then on the premium rounds you have Hesh penetration of 210 with 480. So if you're at alpha, so if you are able to use those Hesh rounds effectively, you can rack up a lot of damage. Now, here we are for this replay then, where he's in a tier 8 matchmaking. He's on Lakeville, and he started this game off fairly well. He's managed to get two penetrations in, putting himself onto about a 1,000 damage, and you know, he's maintained, you know, he's not detected. So he's just waiting right now to see if anything will push up and spot for him, or any of the tanks get detected, which should play quite aggressively. Now, he has managed to pick up there an extra penetration. Hopefully, he should pick up his first kill of the game on this tank destroyer. Putting this on to just shy of 2,000 damage and a kill with all penetration. So a nice start to the game. Right now they are winning this game and they are a few tanks up. But it doesn't stay that way. And he definitely has to put in the work in order to get the victory in the end. So our light tank's not really detecting anything at the moment. He's trying to push up down the sort of river road to spot stuff. He does detect a few tanks and that is going to give um, an opportunity to try and pick up some more damage. He gets a lovely roll there with the Hesh pen. And like I say, when you can pen those shots with the Hesh, it really just you know, increases the damage which this tank can um, can make. But what's happening now, he feels like he needs to try. And, you know, he's got the, rid of some of the early tanks. And now he's going to give a bit more freedom to push up and see if he can get around there. Because it didn't look like any tanks were coming down the town area. But as that has happened, a, a tank, an I-6, has got spotted in the town. And kind of awkwardly kind of stops him in his tracks because he has to wait. He doesn't want to get detected where he was because if he did and there is any tank still camping at sort of the back of the, the river road, uh, they could get shots into him. So he's being quite careful here. He wants to try and come in you know, and kill this IS-6. I think he feels like he's probably isolated, uh, but he has got this tank destroyer now coming in, which has been detected by his medium in the town. So he's going to try and get rid of this heavy tank as quickly as he possibly can. So then he can deal with his attention with the tank destroyer. It doesn't really want to have to be fighting two tanks at once. So he does get a nice shot into the heavy tank. And he's just going to pull back round. Uh, waiting for his medium tank to try and help him. And once he's off the reload he should be able to put another shot into this tank. The tank has shot now. The heavy tank has shot. Sorry. It's IS-2-2 I should apologise. The not an IS-6. The double barrel tier 8 um, Soviet heavy. And he's now on the one shot, so he should be able to pick up the kill. Unfortunately, he doesn't roll quite high enough, which is a shame. Uh, but he should be able to get the finish, but he gets taken out by our friendly um, uh, Talia medium tank. And now this tank destroyer is going to try and go in the kill. He wants to try and get behind this tank, maybe track him in place. Because it's a turretless tank destroyer, if he gets behind him, he's going to be able to kill him. He does pick up the kill, putting this on to just shy of 4,000 damage with three kills. And six tanks in the game. And still very even at this point. <clears throat> the majority of the tanks. You can see there's at least four tanks detected right now. Um, so it's pretty safe to say the majority of the tanks are going to be you know, towards the base. Um, so he's going to try and get some shots in. He's got side shots now into this tank destroyer. Got the Hesh rounds because he know he can pen the side of this tank with the 210 uh, penetration on the Hesh. Does pick up his fourth kill of the game, putting him onto 4,300 damage. With five tanks remaining, it's still very, very even. There is two enemy artillery in the game, uh, and then three enemy tank destroyers, which I think are in the uh, three man platoon. So that's always, you know, you, you have to be careful because they can be working together. 
and you don't want to get caught out because um, also you know that they could potentially two shot him because uh, he's got big alpha on those those heavy tank destroyers. But he's able to pick up another kill there, putting this onto five kills, gets a nice blind shot, putting them onto just shy of five thousand damage. They are now in a three versus four scenario. But this tank destroyer he's probably got the kill on at this specific moment because you know there's no one else. You know he's got nice side shots in, but unfortunately he manages to evade. Um, him here loses its spot so now he's got to try and advance to see if he can try and spot him he was able to spot him just waiting for him to turn just enough that he gets an easy pen picking up his six kill putting him to 5500 damage now in a two versus three there is two enemy artillery and one enemy tank destroyer but obviously the chariot here doesn't have any armor so it is an easy pen for the enemy artillery so he has got to be quite careful because he doesn't want to get out spotted by the tank destroyer there maybe behind a bush not moving trying to use his concealment um and doesn't want to then get detected and shot by the enemy artillery but he has managed to out spot the td puts a nice shot in there putting himself onto around six thousand damage um and yeah there is a just this one enemy tank destroyer and then it's a two enemy artillery and with the increased hit points of the artillery there could potentially be quite a lot of damage left in this game, um, depending on the, the health of the RTs, whether they've been shot at. Um, or, you know, at this point, we're not really too sure. He does have one enemy artillery to try and cover him, but I think where our friendly artillery is, he's going to probably struggle to actually get shots. So he probably should move out round now in towards sort of the town, and then he would have easier shots um, to shoot this tank destroyer or the enemy artillery. He does get out spotted there which is not ideal he then gets hit by the tank destroyer with a big shot putting him onto a hundred hit points and this is going to make life uh, you know a lot harder uh, because obviously now those artillery has only got a splash in and it's going to get taken out he's going to try and finish the one shot enemy artillery looking for the kill he does pick up the kill got to try and get back safe now he is on now seven kills with six thousand six hundred damage with two tanks remaining, the one-shot tank destroyer, and then the other enemy artillery, which you know, I suspect is full hit points, uh, but we don't know that for sure at this point. Now, he's, <coughs> this is where he's got to be careful, because he wants to outspot this tank destroyer, but this tank destroyer is probably pushing back, knowing that he's on a one-shot and playing safe. So trying to push down this route would be tempting, because you just want to get this game won, but you're know, having such a good game, he could easily lose it having done so well so he's going to try and do the right thing play a little bit safe because i don't think his friendly artillery is really able to give him much assistance in this scenario so he's just going to try and go back and take the long road round and go try and go back up to sort of the one two line and, and catch them off guard um essentially because he, does, he doesn't want to take the risk which is probably the smart thing to do because so time is on his side right now. You know, he's got seven minutes left on the clock. The charioteer is fairly mobile. Uh, I think you've got, I think I can't remember what the top speed on this tank is now. I think it's 52 kilometers an hour. So you can get, you know, and you do manage to get to that top speed very well because it's got good power to weight. It's quite a, you know, a light vehicle. Um, and it won't take him too long to get around the map. So he's just letting his artillery know, his friendly artillery know of his intentions. He was just pinging the map to let him know what he was planning to do. Um, so the artillery could try and move into position to cover. But that, you know, I don't know if he's, he's just not really in a position to cover at all. Because he's going to struggle to shoot over the uh, big rock. He needs to sort of move to a position so he can actually get shots in. Um, you know, these from where I'm looking, it looks like I think he'll struggle to get the shots in. But he's going to try and go round now. Like at this point, he's thinking. I guess the other enemy tank destroyer could have tried to rotate out of the base um, and try and chase him down. But I, I, I don't think that would have happened just because he was on the one shot. The artillery is definitely not going to move. Um, yeah, so I think it's the Soviet um, tier eight artillery in the game. Maybe the tier seven artillery. Not that mobile, so he should be able to try and hopefully catch him off guard. So he's going to obviously poke this ridge. In an ideal world, he does detect him. He pops his food there just to boost his view range, giving him the best chance to have spotting the enemy tank. Um, and yes, yeah, but unfortunately, hasn't spotted him, so it's clear that they, they maybe they've tucked themselves in in the corner. Like I say he's on 100 hit points. So he's got to be slightly careful that that TD doesn't just get the jump on him. Uh, but he's hoping, obviously, you know, he's going to try and catch him off guard. So they're not expecting exactly where he's going to come from. And with a bit of luck, he might be able to get behind this tank destroyer if he hasn't moved. 
and then pick up the kill, leave him in the uh, one versus one against the artillery. So he does spot the tank destroyer, thankfully catches him off guard, it was worth coming around and now he's on eight kills with 7,000 damage or just shy of 7,000 damage with this one enemy artillery left. So he goes up, does the right thing just to proxy spot him, he doesn't just go round the corner and get shotgunned, he drives up the hill just to proxy him. Like I say, at this point you was hoping if, your, if the friendly artillery would have moved, probably would have had shots on this tank because... Although you're against an artillery, this is kind of awkward. Just be on the hit points he's on. Yeah, you know, if he just gets splashed, it, it's it'll be very, very awkward. So what he's going to do? Try, he's going to try and move when he's detected. Try and lead the artillery to think he's coming around the other way, and now turn around, hope to catch him off guard. Unfortunately, the artillery proxy spots him. So that meant you know that this is kind of giving up the game. So the artillery knows he's coming around. He's just trying to poke, he's not trying to poke around the corner, he's just trying to confirm what way the artillery was looking. And you, there's no way of him coming around this corner and winning, essentially. He has to try and catch the, the artillery in a position where he's not focused on him, because otherwise he's just going to shotgun him. So he needs to lose his spot, he has lost his spot, he's going to try his luck going around the other side. He's still got four minutes on the clock. If the artillery shoots once and misses, then he's going to be able to free kill him. He has got the Hesh loaded, which is good because he can obviously... You know, pick up that extra damage. Uh, looking to try and sneak around. The artillery isn't quite paying attention, so he has got the shot in, which is fantastic. Put the enemy artillery onto a one shot. He's going to try and come around now. If the artillery keeps going around, he's going to out reload him. He should be able to pick up the kill, and he does, and ends that game with a fantastic game for a tier 8 tech tree tank destroyer. He finishes off with nine kills, one away from picking up that pause. A fantastic amount of damage, 7,000, almost almost 7,700 damage there. So you know, not far off of getting 8,000 damage in the tier 8 light. Um, does pick up the ace tank health as it gets to Radley's medal. Um, you know, as it gets nine kills, one shot away from the pools. And like I say, you know, please you know, feel free to, to, to subscribe to him. If you, click, you know, watch his channel, see what other videos in, and you might find something you like. So... Thank you for your amazing support. As always, happy tanking. Enemy in sight. Hadouken!